afternoon. How's everybody? Good. Did you have a good day? Oh, yes. yes. Was it good competition? Oh, yes. Did some of you decide you want to be lawyers today? No. Who said no, ma'am? Ah. Well, you guys were really good. I had two really good teams in my room, both morning and afternoon. So this is what it's all about. It makes everything worthwhile because you guys were really great. And as I've told the people in my, in my room, you know, people, take, people talk about the football team and the basketball team and the volleyball team. They don't talk about the mock trial team. You guys need some love. Give yourselves a hand. It's a big deal. Because you are developing skills that you can take with you and do other things with. So it teaches you how to think, how to argue, how to respond, you know, how to show up and show out. All those kinds of things are really, really important. So they are right now um, tabulating all the scores so we can find out who wins these beautiful trophies as well as who will get um, summer internships with our court. Did you all know about that? Oh, yes, yes. We're giving summer internships to the best prosecuting attorney, the best defense attorney, the best witness, and the best essayist. So you will get a summer job here at the court making $10 an hour, I think. So, yeah. So, he said, if you all knew it, you would have done some more, huh? Okay, so I just want to welcome everybody. This is, you see, Flash always tells me, this is the 26th annual mock trial competition. So we've been doing this for more than a quarter century. And so we want to keep this going. I think that it is a very great, edifying activity. And you should tell everybody, yeah, you need to grind and do this. It's really important. It looks good on resumes. And tell everybody, say you only took a few weeks out of your life, and it's good. It's good. So... Can I get an amen? amen? Somebody? Okay, it was good, right? Amen. All right, you all. Okay, so we're going to have a few brief remarks while we're waiting for the scores. So our first remarks are going to come from Carrie Burns, and she is the Cleveland Municipal Bar Association Chief Strategy Officer. Here she is. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for participating today and putting in all the hard work and time. I know it's the end of the school year, too, so everyone's thinking about those warm, sunny days like it is outside today. So uh, just give yourselves a round of applause for all the hard work you did. Fantastic, thanks. Well, while we're waiting for the scores to be tabulated, I wanted to give you um, a little update. Some of you have heard about our summer legal adventure. So it's the Stephanie Tubbs Jones Summer Legal Adventure. It's open from ni for ninth through 11th grade students. Um, it is this summer, it is June, the week of June 10th. So what you do for a week, you visit three different law schools. You visit Case Western, Cleveland State, and Akron. You get to see what a law school class simulation looks like. Um, you get to meet different law professors and lawyers um, and judges. It's a really good uh, first-hand look about what law school might look like if that's something you're interested in. So applications are still open for another week or two. If that's something that you think you might want to do or even might be interested in, come see me. I'll give you my card um, and I can send you the application portal. You can also just Google Summer Legal, Legal Adventure and it will pop up. But that's all for me. What about the Stokes Scholars? We're, we're doing that too? Stokes we Scholars. We still have Stokes Scholars. Stokes Scholars is um, for college students. Okay. So those of you who, I don't know if we have any seniors in the room, but okay. All right. So Stokes Scholars is something that you can participate in next summer when you're in college. And that is um, paid internships with the different law firms, legal departments, some with the courts. And then it is also like a eight, eight week um C curriculum. So you'll come to the bar, you'll learn different things, you'll go to different law firms and learn about what it's like to be an attorney and practice law. Um, so that's something for college students and that is also a really great experience and a really good first-hand account again of what law school and practicing as an attorney would look like. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's exciting. It is. Come on, I know it's late, but yes. <laughs> thank Thanks, you so Sarah. much. And let's Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. here. Just fell and just like you hear about scholarships that go unclaimed, there's a whole lot of scholarships, a lot of money that's left on the table because people don't know about it. There's a lot of internships that people don't 
don't know about, and so they remain unclaimed too. So we want to make sure that every internship, every job is filled by somebody here. Okay, I mean, working at Burger King is good, but working in here is a different experience. Okay, so you know, make sure that you can you widen your options as much as possible. So we have one of my colleagues up here. I know that she told me that she had some really good teams in her room, so I'm going to let her greet you also. Hi, scholars and counselors and witnesses and every, every other role you may have played today. I am Judge Sydney Strickland Saffold. I am also in the Cleveland Municipal Court, and I just wanted to congratulate all of you. I didn't realize how many students we actually had when you're all sitting together. It really brings it all together. Um, I had four amazing teams compete in my room today. I have, I, it's evident that there are so many talented young kids that are going to come into the law practice and I'm so excited to see you guys here. Um, it's so important what you're doing. I remember competing in mock trial competitions in high school, in college, and throughout law school. Um, so the earlier you start, the, the more you learn. And it's a, a skill set you can apply across the board in every aspect of your life as a young professional. I'm so proud of you guys, and I'm so grateful that you all came to spend time and show off your talent and skills today with us. And you have an open door to come back. I'm on the 13th floor in courtroom C. If you ever want to come by, we can chat and talk about things, plan your whole futures, because I think they're all incredibly bright. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> all right. Is our mock trial coordinator Gail around? Hi, Gail. How are you? I did, I, we usually have more com communication before the big day, and we have not this time. Always happy to see you. You want to address your girl? Your group? Sure. <laughs> wow. What an amazing day. I used to be a social studies teacher at East Tech High School before I became the um, social studies program manager. and. And that was a long time ago. And I didn't know anything about the mock trial competition. Had I known, my students would have been here every single year. But after I left, I got to know about mock trial and I fell in love with mock trial. And today, I saw you all think on your feet, pivot when you needed to. And I saw you confidently articulate your positions. For those of you who are seniors, this is your swan song. But you know what? I know we have freshmen, sophomores, and juniors here. And so I hope to see you all this time, this place, next year. Congratulations. so much getting this together and coordinating this. She does a whole lot. There's a whole lot of people who do a lot of behind the scenes things they never know about. Okay, we have um, somebody here who I heard has some really good news they would like to share with everybody. Um, is Chardon Black here? Hi, Chardon. Hi. Tell us what your good news you have. Oh, well, I'll get to that. Okay, I, well, say whatever you want to say. I think the first thing I want to say is congratulations to all of you. I joined this program three years ago, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, I had no confidence. I was shy to talk. I was shy to make friends. And I was really shy to think on my own. But this program is amazing for that because it teaches you how to develop yourself. It teaches you how to think on your feet like this speech, and it really teaches you an opportunity to make strong connections that you may not have later in life. And so whether you think Aubrey Williams did it or J. Cole is just bad at basketball, <laughs> I want you all to know that this was an amazing day. And I want to see all of you back, or hopefully one day, participating in a competition like this or law. But one of the biggest things that I want to bring up was this is a very diverse room. I mean, I see a lot of African Americans. I see a lot of Hispanic Americans. People diverse in socioeconomic status. People diverse in racial status. All in this one room. And what I want you all to understand is, this isn't everywhere. Not everywhere do you have the opportunity for people of such 
diversity to practice law. And this program gets over that. This program allows students like us to really stand at the court, stand at the podium, deliver exhibits, deliver statements, and really understand that though we are minorities, we're the best. And so today I've been given the amazing opportunity to speak on this program's impact on myself. And I really felt it was important to just say that part. But I also wanted to thank my own team. I've been with my team for just about three years and they're just about the best people I've ever had to say my friends. I think whether it be arguing back and forth with some of my co-counsels about the smallest little point or working together at that table, it's really important to always rely on the people around you. Because when you go out into the real world, it's cruel sometimes. And you have to have people to lie back on and rely on and really understand that, you know, we're in this together. I also want to thank Mr. Trouble specifically. Mr. Trouble is... Yes, yes. Let me say this in the microphone. Mr. Trouble is the goat of all goats. And one of my biggest regrets is not getting with him sooner because everything that I do today, especially in terms of my public speaking, is the result of him. So the big news is, apparently, that I received a full ride to Princeton University. And so, in the fall, I'll be going off to Princeton to study public international affairs, and I'm gonna have memories like this. I'm gonna be able to look back and really understand that it was people like you in moments like this that will have allowed me to really develop myself with skills and passion. And that's about all I got. <laughs> that's a lot. You were wonderful, and I appreciate the fact that you wanna give us credit for some of your success. We'll take it. Uh, my trial, I'm telling you, it, it's very edifying, and people need to realize that. You know, So again, it's not just about the sports, it's about the academics, and we need to promote all of it, we need to celebrate all of it. So I am so glad. Four years at Princeton, full ride, it is wonderful. Give them another hand. <laughs> Y'all know that's Ivy League, right? That's Ivy League, so that is wonderful. Okay, so no, no uh, results yet. Okay, so you know what? Everybody who was a witness who dressed up for their part, come up here because you can't always see everybody from all the different competitions. And you don't get a chance to show it off. And I saw so many really cool personifications of these parts. So tell us who you are and tell us who you played. Davis, and I played as Dr. Lee Virginia. Hi, my name is Chloe Fleming, and I played as Dr. Lee Virginia. Uh, my name is Christian Walker. I played the very innocent Aubrey Williams. <laughs> yeah. 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 My name is Elizabeth Sender. I played uh, Jacob's best friend. I played Sterling Shine. My name is Aspen Wood. I played Officer C.J. Jones. <laughs> my name is Maya Nix, and I played Officer C.J. Jones. Yeah. My name is William Underwood, and I unfortunately played a police officer. My name is Michael Lorcum, and I played Stone and Shiny. Hi, my name is Kashmir, and I played um, Jamie. Hi, my name is Jonathan, and I played Officer CJ Jones. Yes, he actually came in with crutches and did all this. It was really good. So, yeah, so these are your witnesses. And I hate the fact that sometimes people put so much effort into being a witness and nobody gets to see them. So, you all, please look at them. Give them a hand. They were very good. Thank you so much for putting in effort. Okay, so let's have the defense attorneys. Come on up, defense attorneys. Oh. 
my name is Andrew Kerr, and we prove without a reasonable doubt that Aubrey was guilty of all four charges. My name is Kirk Bernard, and I am not going to go with all these guys over here. I'm going to say that we did not prove beyond reasonable doubt. Baby had the checkouts, and the only one to testify was the ones there during the incident. Nobody else, no carefish, no nothing. You can't prove you guys. My name is Albert, and that's what we'll put. My name is Chloe again, and this time she's definitely guilty. <laughs> My name is Jayla, and I think me and John Hay Early College proved that we're yeah. 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 My name is Amber, and I <laughs> My name is Amber, and I think we got our point across that. Uh, I'll, I'll All right. My name is Hannah, and this is Shamir. We both 100% proved that our we is guilty. Yeah. 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 Okay, and just so you all know, when you're a prosecutor, you got to do more than get your point across. The standard is what? Very good, very good. Okay, so we do have the winners. We do have the winners. So somebody give me a drum roll. All right. We are going to start with the outstanding attorney plaintiff, in this case, plaintiff prosecutor. So when I call your name, come on up here so Flash can get your picture. Outstanding prosecuting attorney is Andrew Guerra. out here. A lot of talent. All right. Outstanding defense attorney. Uh, our Princeton born, Princeton born uh, Chardon Black. Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And it, the, um, Andrew's from Science and Medicine Team Two, and Chardon's from Science and Medicine Team One. That, okay. The outstanding witness goes to Jayla Shelton. <laughs> winner is Leah Walton from Cleveland School of the Arts. Where's Leah? Oh. Well, tell Leah she won. And all four of them, if they would like it, they have won a summer internship with our, our court. Did she win? All right, teams, in third place, we have Cleveland School of the Arts team.
glad you're happy. <laughs> Second place goes to early college. <laughs> Come on up and claim your trophy. <laughs> Yay, congratulations! All right, let's get in. Okay. Coached by our mock trial veterans and now lawyers. Drum roll, please. For first place. Science and medicine team two. We will see you all next year, and we'll have an even better problem, and I'm sure we're going to have really great participation. So have a wonderful weekend, and thank you again for coming and participating. Thank you.